Hello, in this video we are going to look at identity operators which allow us to essentially have a look if two variables, two values are the same and there's two operators, there's is and is not. So if we create a var, var1 equals 10, we have var2 equals 10, we have var3 equals, I don't know, 8, doesn't really matter. As you can see, the first two are identical. The second, I mean, the third one is not. So if you do print var1 is var2, and let me show you the other one, var1 is var3. Again, the order doesn't matter. And this is, this is the is operator. And if I copy this, and now we're going to cover the is not operator, is not operator. So if it's not this, and if it's not this, so let's run it and walk through the results. Those are the results from before, so you can ignore them. Okay, so we get true, false, false, true. So let's have a look. We get true. We're checking. Is 10 equal 10? Yeah, true. It was false, false, true. So is 10 equal 8? No, it isn't. So we get false. Is 1 not, I mean, is 10 not equal to 10? Well, it is equal, so it's being returned false because it's checking if it's not. And finally, is 10 not equal to 8? Well, the different numbers, so the actual question they pose is true. Hence the return value of true. So that's it for identity operators. You can use these in decision making and in conditional statements and anywhere that you would essentially, you know, expect and use a true value, I mean like a boolean value, like true or false. So you can use it anywhere like that. So thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.